live from Belfast, this is BBC News. Walking out this way. Right this way. Right this way. This way. Right this way. Right this way. We have to move. Joe Biden promises to listen to Northern Ireland's leaders as he meets the British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak on the 25th anniversary of the Good Friday Agreement. In the next hour, we are expecting President Biden to arrive here to Ulster University. He's going to be speaking to students and other people here in Belfast. We will bring you his address. It is much anticipated and we'll bring it to you live. Our other main story on BBC News today, Elon Musk has told the BBC in an exclusive interview he is confident that Twitter's advertisers will return and he can make the company profitable again. But it hasn't been easy. It's been really quite a stressful situation, uh, you know, for the last several months. Not, not an easy one. I, I, I was... um, but apart from the pain, I mean, y y so it's been quite... Hello and welcome to Belfast. We are outside Ulster University. We, we are expecting President Biden to arrive in about an hour's time and to address uh, some students and others inside. We've been speaking to them already today. A huge sense of anticipation inside the university. It is not often that you get a president in town and the world spotlight on your country. So a lot of expectation around what he will say, the words he will use today. Uh, we know that he is going to talk about the Good Friday Agreement, 25 years years since that was signed but there'll be lots of people looking at the language that he uses because of course there is no power sharing at Stormont here in Northern Ireland and that is something that he is we understand hoping to address when he meets political leaders here today. What's happened so far this morning? The wind and rain is gone. It's been a lovely morning here in Belfast. He's up on the 23rd floor of his hotel and he has been meeting with the British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. Uh, we've had some pictures in of that meeting between the two leaders uh, at the Grand Central Hotel. And the main thing that came from President Biden, he didn't take many questions at all, but he did say that he was here to listen. So uh, it was not called a bilateral meeting today, a bilateral meeting is how people have referred to it. Uh, we could see them there, not sure if it was tea or coffee uh, they were drinking. No words from Rishi Sunak so far. We can show you a live picture that we had for, have from outside the hotel as well. Uh, lots of security here in Belfast, as you can imagine, uh, not just local law enforcement and police.